Peace. This is a meat and potato sorcery production starring myself, the Water Alchemist, and today's topic for the occult family, the Mark of the Beast. There's been a lot of discussion in so-called metaphysical as well as religious circles about what is the Mark of the Beast. Is it a singular event that's supposed to occur or it's plural? I am one of the proponents of that it's plural. It's basically a spiritual and metaphysical octopus that will have tentacles everywhere. If you don't believe me, look at the term parents betray. Now, first of all, parents betray is Latin. Now, what that basically means is a parent of the people or father of the nation. Now, why is this important? Because parents betray how it manifests today in the zeitgeist is through this way. Protecting children, the mentally unfit, and those who are legally incompetent. So, short story short, basically that's 80% of the people of the United States. Because remember, they took out civics a long time ago in the public school system. And if you read Black Law's Dictionary, any, any time, excuse me, that you get an attorney, basically you are declaring before a judge and that court that you are mentally incompetent. That is what you're saying to them. And if you check the World Health Organization, since the pandemic happened, anxiety and depression has increased by 25%. So basically... They're covering all their bases. And numerology even plays a part. If you just add up numerically the mark of the beast, that comes down to 33. Why is 33 important? And I'm not going to talk about Jesus. And it extends to that is a master spiritual number. Anytime you have a double number, it is never reduced. Period. So the original temple of Solomon stood 33 years. Then there's the 33 Mason. But if you study the Kabbalah, there are 22 spheres, 10 globes, and one more, Sephira. And that is Dot. And that adds up to what? The number 33. And you can't get anything done. Because there are some religious pundits that feel like, well, the mark of the beast says you're not going to be able to buy or trade unless you have a particular mark. Okay, well, tell me what can you get accomplished without a driver's license? Anytime you go, whether it be Monster.com, ZipRecruiter, Indeed, the thing that they're going to have on there is do you have a driver's license? What else do they ask for? Social security. That's what they ask for. They're asking for these documents. So ever since parents betray, you're a child, you're mentally unfit. And who can speak for you better than the state? So basically, that's your father and your mother. So that's the mark of the beast. And it, can, it starts with parents betray. It will extend to your birth certificate because you're a commodity. And what's a valuable commodity? A value commodity is a child. Don't believe me? Go on the dark web and see how much babies are going for. Check it out for yourself. They're a high premium. So that is the mark of the beast. It's not one thing. It's many things. And they're going to use all this paperwork to make sure that you are bought and paid for. Period. Point blank. And as far as the RFID chip, they're going to be pushing more chips. But remember how they do this is for your best interest. So, oh, you could chip your animals. Let's say your child gets stolen. You can have your child chip. They're always going to do it where it's in your best interest or so they're proclaiming. It is not in your best interest. Last time I checked, tell me what was good about slavery. Oh, that's right. Nothing. There's nothing good about slavery. And you could clean it up and just say, I'm an indentured servant. Slavery is slavery, period. So that 
in a nutshell, is the mark of the beast. It has many tentacles, and if you cut off that one tentacle, it will be able to regenerate. So with that, that is your meat and potato sorcery for the day. I am the Water Alchemist. Be water, my friends. Peace.